Googleplex. A Googleplex is the number 10 Google, that is 10. The reciprocal of the Googleplex is called Goomanex. History In 1938, Edward Kusner's nine-year-old nephew, Milton Sirota, coined the term Google, which is 10,100, then proposed the further term Googleplex to be one, followed by writing zeros until you get tired. Kusner decided to adopt a more formal definition, because different people get tired at different times and it would never do to have Kahner be a better mathematician than Dr. Einstein, simply because he had more endurance and could write for longer. It thus became standardized to 10, 10,100. Size In the PBS science program Cosmos, A Personal Voyage, Episode 9, The Lives of the Stars, Astronomer and television personality Carl Sagan estimated that writing a Googleplex in standard form, that is, 10 billion, would be physically impossible, since doing so would require more space than is available in the known universe. A typical book can be printed with 106 zeros, around 400 pages with 50 lines per page and 50 zeros per line. Therefore, it requires 1094 such books to print all zeros of Googleplex. If each book has a size of 210 mm x 297 mm x 13 mm, the total volume of all the books is 8.1 x 1090 m3, which is many orders of magnitude larger than the visible universe, which has a volume of only 4 x 1080 m3. With only about 1080 elementary particles in the observable universe, even if only one elementary particle is used to represent each digit, there are not enough particles to represent a Googleplex. Printing digits of a Googleplex in one long line would be unreasonable, even in one point font, 0.353 mm per digit. Writing a Googleplex in that font would take about 3.53 x 1097 meters. The observable universe is estimated to be 8.80 x 1026 meters, or 93 billion light years, in diameter. The required line to write the necessary zeros is therefore 4.0 x 1070 times as long as the observable universe. Writing the number takes too long, if a person can write two digits per second, then writing a Googleplex would take around about 1.51 x 1092 years, which is about 1.1 x 1082 times the age of the universe. A Planck space has a volume of a Planck length cubed, which is the smallest measurable volume, at approximately 4.22 x 10. 105 m3 equals 4.22 x 10. 99 centimeters 3. Therefore 2.4 centimeters 3 contain about a Google Planck spaces. Only about 4 x 1080 cubic meters exist in the observable universe, giving about 9.5 x 10184 Planck spaces in the entire observable universe. Therefore, the number Googleplex is about times larger than even the number of the smallest measurable spaces in the observable universe. If one Planck space is used to represent each digit of a Googleplex, a mere 2.4 cm 3 of volume gives us enough Planck spaces for that task, but there are not enough Planck spaces in the observable universe to represent a Googleplex. Scale In pure mathematics in pure mathematics, there are several notational methods for representing large numbers by which the magnitude of a Googleplex could be represented, such as tetration, hyperoperation, Newt's up arrow notation, Steinhorst-Moser notation, or Conway chained arrow notation. In the physical universe, one Google is presumed to be greater than the number of hydrogen atoms in the observable universe which has been variously estimated to be between 1079 and 1081. A Google is also greater than the number of Planck times elapsed since the Big Bang, which is estimated at about 8 x 1060. Thus in the physical world it is difficult to give examples of numbers that compare to the vastly greater Googleplex. In analyzing quantum states in black holes, Physicist Don Page writes that determining experimentally whether or not information is lost down black holes of solar mass. 
would require more than 1076.96 measurements to give a rough determination of the final density matrix after a black hole evaporates. The end of the universe via Big Freeze without proton decay is expected to be around 10, 1075, years into the future, which is still short of a Googleplex. In a separate article, Page shows that the number of states in a black hole with a mass roughly equivalent to the Andromeda galaxy is in the range of a Googleplex. If the entire volume of the observable universe, assumed to be 4x1080 m3, were packed solid with fine dust particles about 1.5 micrometers in size, then the number of different ways of ordering these particles, that is, assigning the number 1 to one particle, then the number 2 to another particle, and so on until all particles are numbered, would be approximately one Googleplex.